Imagine a lake vomiting 30-pound fish torpedoes 10 feet into the air, knocking out the guy standing next to you, and leaving behind a slimy kiss of carp death. These aren't the same carp we saw Trump dumping feet on in Japan. No, these are Asian carp, or what's known as one of the most hated fish in America. The U.S. fight against the carpocalypse has been an uphill, downstream battle, and the most recent weapon combines sound and electricity. Asian carp is actually a catch-all term for four different species. The jumping suckers, silver carp, and the big head carp are the real problems. And then there's grass carp and black carp. Big head carp can outgrow a small child, becoming about five feet tall and weighing up to 110 pounds. They're voracious feeders that eat huge amounts of vegetation and plankton, which is why well-intentioned scientists originally brought them from China to Arkansas in the 70s as a form of algae cleanup and sewage treatment. Of course, that backfired. They escaped and established themselves throughout the Mississippi and Illinois rivers, breeding like crazy, with females laying up to one million eggs a year and choking out native fish. I was one of the first people to work on uh, big head and silver carp in, in this country. We were complete babes in the woods when this thing started. We had no idea about really the wild biology of these fish. The fear is that they could migrate north into the Great Lakes, potentially devastating a $7 billion fishing industry. The only thing stopping them from entering right now is a giant underwater electric fence across the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal. Probably would have carp up there by now if we didn't have that barrier in place. But even if only a few carp slip through this giant doggy collar, they could potentially take over other waterways in the Northeast. Since they have no natural predators, it's up to humans to stop them. From bow fishing tournaments like Kentucky's Carp Madness, to an electrified boat called the Magna Carpa that shocks and captures carp. And most recently, a Chinese harvesting technique that U.S. scientists have modified to incorporate underwater speakers and electricity. The technique known as Unified Modified Method basically works like an underwater cattle drive. Fishermen in a bunch of shock boats send electric pulses and sound through the water to startle and herd the invaders. They essentially turn an entire body of water into a giant booby trap. But fishermen have been using these electrofishing shock boats for a while. That's what Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife demonstrated in a video that went viral last year. But the electric current doesn't outright kill the fish. It just stuns them to the surface in some cases. Same goes for loud noises. The underwater speakers repeatedly play the sound of an elevator door slamming or boat motors, which scares the carp, but not the native fish. If we were running along killing things, we'd be killing native fish. The two triggers combined help to corral the carp into a smaller and smaller netted area where they are harvested for fertilizer, food, and bait. The method has seen success in China, and U.S. scientists believe it's one of the most promising solutions. We took the basic block net idea and together with between the sound and the electrofishing gear, uh, we were able to push fish really, really easily. In about a day and a half, we caught almost a quarter, 240,000 pounds of fish. Once they hit the bank, they're not my problem anymore. And so they're handed over to commercial fishers that take care of them. So far, it's been pretty successful at clearing large amounts of fish fast. We can go in and catch 80% 85% possibly of the fish that are in there. You'll end up catching 98.8% .8 of the fish in four passes. While it's easy for us to hate a giant fish that can take you out in one leap, carp are embraced in other cultures, especially in China. They're really, really, really important fishes in China. They are the fishes that make up most of the aquaculture in China. They are the beef and hot dogs uh, of China. They, they want to increase the numbers of fish rather than reduce it, and they have shut down most of their commercial fishing in rivers to the point to try to protect these fish. But it's going to be hard for the U.S. to eat their way through this problem. Americans don't like to eat you know, fish that have bones in them, and that's a big problem. It's going to be difficult to push this fish on the American consumer. Sadly, harvesting alone will not solve the problem. We're probably not going to be able to ever eradicate the fish uh, across the, the, the invaded range unless we go to 
some kind of molecular control. Keep the fish from having as much success in reproduction. In the meantime, we can still try to eat them to beat them. Two Rivers Fisheries is one of the big processors and they're shipping a lot of stuff back to China. Another place up in Northern Illinois that he's been turning the fish into hot dogs and, and sausages. And I've eaten a hot dog and it's, it's not bad. It's, it tastes like a hot dog. And it's actually a much lower in calories than a regular hot dog.